Here at Allen Arena, Lipscomb wins it over Covenant 86 to 61. Jonathan and Justin Seaman, we are courtside here in the arena. And joining us across the way will be the head coach for the Bisons, Coach Lenny Acuff. Coach, you had a tough loss on Friday night at Notre Dame. Your team put a great effort into it. You came in today, and I'm sitting here wondering what you're going to play like. You come out of the blocks just really going after them here in this one. Well, you know, it, it's it, obviously this is a hard game to play after, you know, the emotion of last week. You know, you have an unbelievable win on Monday night. And so proud of our effort on Friday night. Obviously extremely disappointed. We couldn't, you know, get one stop there at the end to win the game. But played really hard and had a lot of emotion at, at Notre Dame. And But I, but I thought we started – I thought we tried to play real hard. Um, you know, tip, tip you out to Covenant. They, they never quit. They I have a lot of respect for their program. They do it the right way and a lot of good kids. And – they're going to keep battling hard. Um, I, I thought that we, we relaxed a little bit in the second half, but it's hard. You know, we were subbing five at a time, and that was kind of our plan going into the game because we've got a really tough game Wednesday afternoon in Chattanooga, and we want to try to play as many guys as we could. Yeah, you got to play that style because you got to rest guys, be ready for that game. Yep. And I think even against Chattanooga for them, they ran into a record 22 threes against them in their game there. But uh, they know what these two opponents are about. So you, you get what you can. You learn some things happen. And one of the things tonight, I know we keep focusing on how Asajula is playing, but he gets 10 assists tonight, Coach. He did. He, he's really close. Um, I thought he made some great passes. That's what I told him. He, you know, when, when things aren't, you know, maybe you're not playing as well as you would like, just figure out a way to get lost in the game and be help the other guys play better. And, and he showed what an unbelievable passer he is tonight and um, just does a great job of sharing the ball. So uh, he's going to get it right. Uh, I believe in him. Everybody in our locker room believes in him, and we're just going to keep going to him. Coach, this is one of those games, obviously, everybody gets in the action. Everybody really gets some production. What are you learning, though, in, in the non-conference as you're kind of you, – you kind of – and then players know this. You, you're at some level having to prepare for, okay, we've got our starters, and then we've got to have, have our guys off the bench that really come in and produce. What do you learn about some of those guys off the bench coming in to produce? Because you look at guys like Jacob Ognasevic and A.J. McGinnis, those are guys that almost interchangeably could be star starters. Yeah, it, it really for us, I, it doesn't matter who starts. It's who finishes the game. And um, – I, I like the way we started the game. I like our balance as we rotate. And, and Jacob hasn't played well. Jacob's been great. I mean, he's been incredible. He's good again tonight. and Just been really consistent, really happy for him and everything he's put into it. And I thought A.J. played really well tonight. I, I was glad to see him get going. I thought he showed a lot of confidence. He was really good in the shoot around today, and I thought that carried over to the game. And, you know, we're deeper than we've been. And, you know, you're trying to figure out rotation as much as anything. You're right, Justin. It, it's at this time of year, there's still a lot you're trying to figure out. And, you know, we, we've got to get it, put everything we can going into Wednesday, but then we get, we have a week off before we play Navy, and then we don't play again for another five days. So, you know, we've got one game in 15 days after tomorrow. So we need to, we need, or 12 days, I'm sorry. We, we need to figure out after Tuesday, Wednesday, we need to make sure that. We, you know, we kind of empty the tank Wednesday, and then we can sit back and evaluate after six games where we are. Coach, you shoot uh, tonight uh, 33 of 62, over 50%, 53% in this game. Yeah, you know, a lot of it was we didn't shoot the ball very well from three. You know, right. we, we, we struggled from three. I don't think we made a three in the second half. But, um, you know, a lot of those shots, you just got to keep shooting. I think we got a good shooting team. And we just need to, at times, the ball sticks a little bit too much for me. We got to get the ball moving a little bit more side to side. And, those are things we got to work on, um, but but I like our team. I, I think that you know it's just playing a game after. I mean, you know, obviously last week was a tremendously emotional week for everybody, and uh, we 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 got a lot done. But long long season. Uh, I'm encouraged by our team. I really enjoy coaching them, and we just got to stay after it every day and. Uh, have a lot to be thankful for on this week, that's for sure. Well, we sure do, Coach. Last week was a great game. You went over Belmont so good, and then the way they played against Notre Dame. And then I think tonight, just coming out and playing the way they did, uh, to me is a plus because they could have just uh, not been in it at all. And so now you've got a lot to build on as you get ready for uh, Wednesday. And I think that will be a big matchup against Chattanooga Wednesday afternoon. It, it is a big game for both of us. Uh, they're really, really good. You know, they, they, they were in the NCAA tournament last year, got some of those guys back. And, have a new coach, and he brought the best player in the Southern Conference with him. They're, Dan Earl's a great basketball coach, and they do a great job. It'll be a hard, hard game for us, but uh, we're excited about the opportunity. And um, you know, it, it's it's uh, every game takes on life its own now. But I like our team. We've got really nice kids, and they care a lot. And when you care a lot, you have a chance to be good. Coach, have a 
Have a good game down at Chattanooga. Have a safe trip. Have a great Thanksgiving. We'll see you next week. Hope you Thank enjoy you the holidays. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving. You Coach too. Lenny Acuff with us as Lipscomb wins it 86-61 to over Covenant. Their next game on the road, Chattanooga Wednesday. And you can catch that game from Chattanooga Central Time beginning at 3 o'clock. For Justin Seaman, I'm Jonathan Seaman. So long.